Hello and welcome to the Caldwell County Schools Profile Show. My name is Don Phipps and I'm the superintendent of the Caldwell County Schools and it's my privilege to be the host of today's show. This is March 2019 and today's show will focus on the Education Foundation of Caldwell County and our program Kaleidoscopes which is produced by the Education Foundation. My guest to kick off the program tonight today is Pat Triplett who is the Executive Director of the Education Foundation of Caldwell County. Pat, thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me. I want to just ask you a few questions for our viewers just to get things started. Can okay. you tell us a little bit about the Education Foundation and its work? Mm -hmm. The Ed Foundation supports, uh, it's a nonprofit of course, and it supports teachers and uh, students in Caldwell County Schools. We have been um, uh, in uh, an organization since 1989, so we're celebrating our 30th year. And we go do everything from student scholarships to college scholarships for both teachers and uh, seniors. Uh, we also have, of course, Kaleidoscope. We do lots of different programs, Battle of the Books, Spelling Bees. We help with technology. We do so many things for uh, Caldwell County Schools and, and uh, teachers and students. And we're so grateful for your support. Thank you. You mentioned Kaleidoscope, and I know mm -hmm. it's one of the major fundraisers. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Mm -hmm. uh, originally, uh, this will be our 28th year doing Kaleidoscope. We started in 1992 as a fundraiser for the Education Foundation to run their programs the following year. Uh, because we have been very successful with uh, very kind donors in Caldwell County. We no longer use Kaleidoscope as a fundraiser, but we use all the proceeds, and we still have sponsors, um, and we give that back to the schools. Every school that has, been, uh, has participated, they get uh, funds back for their music, drama, band, depending on what act um, they've sent and then that helps support the arts. We also have a visual arts as well, and all the uh, teachers can sign up for an art board and we put them on and the display is fabulous. It's nothing but color and magic in the Civic Center lobby. And then all of those teachers are given money too, that f again from the proceeds, uh, to help support the arts and the art classes in the schools. And that way that we can, we can help that and um, it's uh, very successful because there's so little funding sometimes for the arts, and the arts are very important. Very kids. good. And you said this is the 28th year? 28th year, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. as, you, as you know, I'm fairly new to the county. I mm -hmm. came in July, and from the very first day, I heard folks talk about Kaleidoscope. Mm -hmm. So this will be my first opportunity to sit and, and be an audience member and witness it, but I look forward to seeing all the talent on display. Yeah. Talented, how, talented How children. many acts do, will you have this year? There's 24 acts and then a curtain call. Uh, South Caldwell Winter Percussion is doing the curtain call for us. We always ask one of the uh, folks that uh, perform in the show, that have made the show, to do the curtain call, and this year it's the Winter Percussion. How many total students are performing? There's probably about 170 kids. We have um, a large group from Gamewell Elementary, 49 kids, and then uh, the jazz band from West Caldwell is outstanding. Um, two large groups from South Caldwell, a, a clarinet choir and a trumpet choir that's going to open the show, be very interesting. They're going to be in the audience. So uh, it's, it's a great show. It's probably one of the best I've seen in a lot of years. And how many schools are represented? Oh, there's probably 10 schools, maybe 12 in the showcase represented, and then there are uh, 20. Uh, in the arts, the visual arts okay. represented. And we'll have some students on with us in just a few minutes, but yes. the, the acts range from singing to different types of, of performance. What, what types of acts will yes. we see? Oh, this year we have a, a magician who is coming from West Caldwell that is going to be out in the audience before the, the curtain starts. So he'll be doing cards, tricks one-on-one -on -one with people. That'll be entertaining for the audience who comes very early sometimes because they want good seats. Um, but all the seats are really good in the Civic Center, I think. Then we have uh, cloggers, uh, we have dancers, and lots of uh, vocalists, maybe five vocalists, and five uh, different large groups, either choral groups from uh, uh, grammar school all the way through high school. Okay. Uh, and then, of course, the instrumentals, uh, fiddlers, and an outstanding violinist as well from Davenport. Now, is a winner selected? No, no, everyone is a winner <laughs> because all these kids are, are talented, okay. everyone. For yeah. folks in the community that want to come out, can you tell us a little bit about the cost 
to attend, where it's located, the date, that type of thing? Oh, sure. We uh, try to make the tickets very affordable so everyone can attend. We ask for a $5 donation. And that way, you know, any, anyone can come and see the show. We sell the tickets, and it is my suggestion that you actually buy them in the lobby at the Education Center across from the Civic Center because you don't have to stand in line. And you can just go in and get your tick, uh, show your ticket at the door and go in and get the seat that you, that you want. Uh, so um, it's, uh, it is my suggestion that you go and buy it early, but you certainly can stand in line. And we have lots of volunteers that are, are in the lobby selling tickets, so they go pretty fast. Okay. And I know one of the, the big deals with the program each year is the T-shirt. Oh, and yes. I, and I've seen the T-shirt. Are mm -hmm. those available for sale for the public? Yes, yes, they are. And they are $10 donations. Again, we try to make them as affordable as well. And we'll have uh, later in the show the T-shirt uh, logo winner. That's right. Our, mm -hmm. our winner will be here. That's yes. very good. Can you tell us about the art show that's in the lobby? Yes. Uh, we have, uh, there'll be 20 different art boards and 20 different schools showing. And they usually, some show uh, up to 50 pieces, depending on the size. Um, on, on the boards, some show, you know, 20, 25. So it's uh, all the way, again, from elementary school all the way up into high school. And it's really terrific, terrific art. And if you don't want to go to the show, you can come and go into the lobby and see the artwork, and you don't have to pay anything. Well, Pat, we're, we're most appreciative of the work that the foundation does. I'm Thank you. I'm appreciative of the partnership that I've been able to form with you on many things that we're We'll, we'll be working on, but I look forward to this weekend and the opportunity to be a part of the, of oh, the program. thank you. And, and in our next segment, we're going to bring some students up and yes. have a chance for our viewers to meet them and be able to showcase some of their mm -hmm. work. But again, thank you for being here. Oh, you're very welcome. And you must remember that we will be introducing you at the show. We don't normally do that, but uh, because you're new and you need to meet all these parents, we'll be introducing you to the show and you'll be uh, working with the magician oh, with good. the cartridge. Look forward to that. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. Thank you. We're excited about this segment as we have two of our students that will be uh, involved in Kaleidoscope with us. We have Carson Webb and we have Faith Brown. And I'd like to begin with Faith. Faith, if you'll tell us what school you go to and what grade you're in. I'm in fifth grade and Hudson Elementary. So you're a fifth grader at Hudson Elementary. Welcome. We're glad you're here with us. I want to talk with you today because you actually are an artist and your artwork has been selected to be a part of Kaleidoscope this year. Can you tell us what inspired you or where you got your idea from for the artwork? Well, I got it from my art teacher because she likes to like do art with us around the school and all. Okay. And what materials did you use when you created this artwork? Paper, um, paint, paint brushes and black paint. Okay, what's, the, what's your favorite part of the artwork? Everything. Everything about it? <laughs> okay. And, and why did you choose <coughs> specific colors? And, and as I'm saying that, you're wearing the shirt actually that's the t-shirt for Kaleidoscope and it features your artwork if you want to show that to the, to the camera. They can take a look at that. It's beautiful, beautiful work. Why did you choose the specific colors that are in that artwork? Because it brings out the um, art into the painting, so yeah. Okay. And as an artist, as you are now, how do you hope people react when they see your artwork, whether it's this it's, artwork or something else that you've created? Um, they inspire so they can paint and have hopes they can get in. Okay. And how does it feel to see your artwork on the t-shirts and the tickets and in the spotlight for Kaleidoscope? Happy. <coughs> Make you excited? You know, that will be on that shirt long after this year is over and your name will always be associated with it. You did a great job. Thank we're, you. we're glad you're here with us today. And Carson is here. Carson's actually performing. Carson, tell us where you go to school and what grade you are. Um, I go to Davenport A plus school and I'm in fifth grade. Okay. And what will you be doing in Kaleidoscope? Um, I will be singing You Say by Lauren Daigle. Okay. Do you want to sing a few bars Maybe. or lines? I guess so. Do you want me to stand up? Go ahead. Okay. You say I am loved when I can't feel a thing. You say I am strong when I think I am weak. And you say I am held 
when I am falling short and when I don't belong, oh, you say I am yours. Look forward to hearing the, the full version of that when we have the program on Saturday night. Thank you. Very good. Now, you've done this before, right? Yes. What, how, how many times have you been in the program? Um, three times. Okay. Do you remember what you sang the first two times? Mm, well, the second time I sang um, When I Was Your Man by Bruno Mars. Um, I can't quite remember the first one, but yeah. Well, now that you're a veteran and you've done it before, is being in the program now the third year, does it feel different than it did the first two years? Um, yeah, it does. In what ways? Well, it feels different because there's not really, it's hard to put it in words, but I can't really think of a way. You, you know what to expect it, this time around, Yes, right? I know what to expect. Very good. Now, how long have you been performing? Um, since I was, um, I can't remember, but it's been seven years. Okay. Where, what other places do you sing and perform? Um, I sing at my church, and I sing at other churches, and I usually go, I just went to a mission, I just went to a home, um, a children's home a few, day, a few days ago, I think last weekend, and I sang a few songs. Okay. What are you most looking forward to about being on the show? Um, I'm looking forward to have a lot of applause, <laughs> and I'm looking forward to not being nervous. I don't want to be nervous is what I don't want to be. I think you'll do just fine. Mm -hmm. Both of you are wonderful students, and, and we love the way that you're representing the Caldwell County Schools. And I want to thank you for being here, and hope you do have a hope, great success for you. And, and we look forward to seeing your artwork all over town, I'm sure, on T-shirts and things like that. So congratulations to you both. In our next segment, we're going to invite out two high school students that are going to share some information, and, and we'll have some questions very similar for them. But again, thank you all for joining us. Thank you. Mm -hmm. In this segment, we have two of our high school students that have joined us on the set, and I'd like to ask them some questions. They both will be performing in Kaleidoscope. We have Angela Ho and Gwyneth Fry. Both students are students at the Caldwell County Early College. And Angela, tell us what grade you're in. I'm in ninth grade. And what will you be doing in Kaleidoscope? I'll be singing and playing piano. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's okay. it. <laughs> and, and you were saying earlier that you've, you've performed, this is your third, third time? Yes. Okay. How, what's the experience like now compared to the first time you were in the program? It feels a little easier now, and I'm less nervous when I perform because I know what to expect when I'm up there. Okay. How long have you been performing? For as long as I can remember, really. Um, I've, I used to go around performing with my church, at church. I've been asked to sing at special events, like weddings and stuff. And what will you be singing at, when playing at Kaleidoscope? I'll be singing and playing When I Was Your Man by Bruno Mars. Okay. And what are you most looking forward to about being a part of the event? Um, I'm looking forward to really just sharing what I do best with everyone in the audience and hopefully inspiring people to, like, be more willing to take opportunities and share their talent as well. Now, have you always played the piano and sang together or did you do one before the other? I, at first, I, I mainly sang and then I was more interested in doing something while I was singing. So at the age of seven is when I started learning to play piano. Okay, very good. We're glad to have you with us. And Gwen, if you're also at the early college, what grade are you in? Ninth. Okay, what will you be doing? I'll be singing. And you're singing what? I'll be singing Tightrope from The Greatest Showman. Okay. And you told me earlier that this is your seventh performance yes, it is. For, with Kaleidoscope? Yes. It how, is. how are things for you now, being a seven time veteran, compared to what things were like the first time you did it? Well, the first time that I did Kaleidoscope, I was a little kindergartner and I was scared to death. But then afterward, I started getting better and more comfortable. And like the first time that I tried out for Kaleidoscope, I was too scared to even walk up on stage. Like, it took me about five minutes before I would even walk up there and just sing. But now I'm over that, and it's what I look forward to every year. Now, how long have you been performing? Um, pretty much around forever. I mean, I've always enjoyed music, and, like, I started playing the viola whenever I was 22 months old, so that shows just how long I've been 
And what, loving music. What other types of venues or programs have you been a part of in terms um, of being a performer? Well, I was accepted into North Carolina State Honors Chorus to the past two years. Can't do it now that I'm at the early college, but those were really great experiences. I sing at some special events that like I'm asked to do. And then I've sang at like fundraisers and stuff like that. Okay. You mentioned the viola, do you play anything else? Um, I sometimes play piano. Okay. Like just play around with it. Ansley, so. any other instruments for you other than piano? Um, I used to play the violin. I pick up the guitar every now and then. I'm not that good at it, but I like to mess around with it and see what I can do. Okay. Gwyneth, what are you m most looking forward to? Honestly, just getting back up on stage and singing because it's my passion and it's something that is just really great for me and it's great for my soul. And I feel like whenever I'm singing, it's just I can, well, just like Angela said, share my gift. And it makes people happy and experience emotion. And I think that anything that I can do to help others is great. What is the social aspect like with the two of you being high school students and being around the other performers and in the room waiting to go on? And, and I understand that it's a live feed where you all can see what's happening in the program. But what is the social aspect like? I absolutely love sitting up there because they're just a bunch of people who have the same opinions as, or like you all have a common thing that you like, which is music or some kind of art. And so it's really a good like icebreaker whenever you're sitting up there because you're all just nervous at the beginning. And then by the end of it, you have some new friends. And it's always just great to see like, okay, who am I going to meet this year? Who are these great talents that we're going to see? You run into folks throughout the year that you performed with that you that have something in common? Yes. Yeah. Either one of you want to perform today? Just a little bit of what you're doing? Does it matter to me? No pressure on you. You want to go? Go for it. Oh, no, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Are you saving it for the show? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Surprising. Yeah. <laughs> we we appreciate, pre appreciate you being here. What does this, this opportunity mean for you as students in terms of being able to do the performing arts piece and being in front of a crowd like that in our community? It's just a wonderful feeling to get to be up there and you get to represent your school you get to represent your peers and it's just it's amazing and you feel like I don't know it's powerful it's an empowering experience um, for me personally it's a like she said it's a it's a great feeling to just be on stage and to perform for people and know that there's gonna be some kind of applause for you like because I personally like when people like are like what you know like it's, it's a great feeling and it's a big deal to me because a part of me wants to become some like some big person one day and I want my name to be out there um, you know like people are like oh you know her she does this you know like that'd be great for me one day that's, that's very good the 24 acts what do you want the audience members to take away when they leave they've seen students from our school system performing a, a great deal of talent but what do you hope they talk about the next day when they talk about what they saw and heard that night I mean, I would just like them to, to have experienced joy and to just have a good night and a good experience with it because that's what we're there to do. That's what you are as a performer is you are there for the entertainment of others. And I mean, that's sort of my main goal whenever I sing is, did I make somebody's day? Did I make somebody smile? Did I inspire them to want to do something? basically like what she said like I want them to walk out and be like I want to be able to do this one day I want to be able to go out on that stage and do what I do best for everyone to see um, not only to bring myself joy but others as well and hopefully inspire someone to do something someday when you're both thinking about life after high school for whatever that means for either one of you what, do you, what are you thinking about in terms of career pursuits and things that you want to do okay. um, I I wanted to do something in the medical field. Originally, I wanted to be a surgeon, but now I'm like thinking about it again uh, because music has, it becomes more important to me every day of my life. And I realize like how much it really does mean to me. Um, so for me personally, I kind of want to become a singer or just some kind of musician or something 
for someone to look up to one day in the future? I'd like to be a cardiothoracic surgeon in the Navy, okay. just because I'd like to be able to help others. Yeah. Well, both of you, you, you make us proud to be students of our school system. I know everyone involved in the program will do a wonderful job. I look forward to seeing both of you perform. I want to tell you how much I appreciate you being here today. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you.